Principality of Rejection, Part 4 The Roots of Rejection The roots of rejection are a tangled mess with four identifiable causes. First is the fear of rejection. Rejection by itself is tough enough, but when coupled with the fear of rejection, it becomes even more powerful. The fear itself produces more rejection. Compare faith to fear. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. Hebrews 11 verse 1 Fear is the substance, substance of things not hoped for. Faith says the eventual outcome of events will be for the better. Fear says all things happen to our detriment. Job 3 verse 25 The fear of rejection immobilizes us, preventing us from venturing out. We feel rejected even though we've done nothing at all except thought, thought about being rejected. We withdraw into a shell. There are three powerful demons that answer to fear and rejection working in tandem. They are fear of man, fear of failure, and fear of rejection. All three must be defeated. When we're under spiritual attack, too often we run toward rejection and bitterness, but it's really the ideal time to run toward God. God says to be anxious, example, nervous, <clears throat> or distraught about nothing. Believers are to be free of anxiety. The Bible promises perfect peace to those whose minds are stayed on God. Stayed refers to focus. The person who whose focus is on God is blessed with a heart at peace. Isaiah 26 verse 3 says, Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusteth in thee. Second is self-rejection. Self-rejection tells you that even you know you don't measure up. Perhaps we learned this as a child. You will never amount to anything. We heard a lie and believed it. The lie became self-rejection. Self-rejection often results in an intense and sometimes irrational drive to succeed. There is a need to prove to our parents, the world, and ourselves that we are valuable and useful. But rejection is never satisfied. And if being accepted becomes our focus, we are driven deeper into the pit of self-rejection. We will never be good enough to satisfy rejection. If we grew up in a home without unconditional love and acceptance, and were treated as someone with little value, we may well experience rejection and self-rejection even as adults. If you haven't grasped the seriousness of the attacks of self-hatred or unloving spirits, you might want to review it now. Self-hatred and self-rejection are networked with unloving spirits. The third aspect is rejecting others. We habitually reject others first before they reject us. In this way, we protect ourselves from the hurt of future rejection. We fear becoming vulnerable and transparent with others. And we have had a hard time trusting anyone. All of this sets off a chain reaction in our relationships that continues a vicious circle of rejection. The only winner is Satan. Once we learn to be free from rejection, we can also become vulnerable without fear. 2 Corinthians 12, verse 
Verse 10 says, Therefore I take pleasure in infirmities, in reproaches, in necessities, in persecutions, in distresses for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then I am strong. The fourth aspect is the desire for rejection. This is the most perverse result of rejection. It is the fruit of an unloving spirit of self-hatred. We actually set ourselves up for rejection by treating others poorly or with indifference. In reality, we are seeking rejection from them. Being rejected allows us to continue dodging the real spiritual issues that hinder our freedom. As a result, when rejection occurs, it reinforces our lack of self-worth and lack of identity. This feeds our belief that we are unworthy. Rejection becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. The following diagram is called the Walls of Rejection. We suggest that you pray through each of the four walls of, or roots of rejection, repenting for allowing them into your life and repenting for this sin in your generation. We also suggest that you ask God to seal your ears from hearing rejection, your eyes from seeing rejection, your mind from perceiving rejection, and your mouth from speaking rejection. You're breaking down the walls of rejection. The very middle wall is rejection. The, the second wall is fear of rejection. The third is self-rejection. Then there's rejection of others. And the last but not least is the desire of rejection. Confess, repent, renounce the power of this specific rejection in your life. Speak blessings over my life. Seal my ears from hearing rejection. Seal my ear eyes from seeing rejection. Seal my mouth from speaking rejection. Break the power of the spirit of this particular rejection in my life. Command the spirit of this particular rejection to leave in the name and authority of Jesus Christ under whose blood I am covered. And I'll be right back with part five.